All right, I probably should have included this in the video of how to install. I did put a warning at the beginning that uh, this is third party. And you never exactly know how it's going to react with uh, with games. Um, so, but this is how you uninstall the reshade. I've gotten a few questions on how to go about doing that. So it's pretty straightforward. You're going to go back to the same exact file that you used to install it. Uh, if you don't have it, just go back to the website and re-download it. I'll put a link in the description for that. You'll just go to that link, scroll to the bottom of the page, re-download the file. And then what you're going to do is basically the exact same steps you did to install it. And that is going to be starting with double clicking on the install file. It's going to pop up again and you'll have to go and search just like you did last time. It should already be saved there, but if not, just navigate to where that executable is in the live and x64 folder. And I'll just back up to show from the beginning here. Uh, mine's on my D drive in a special folder that I've made. So you'll need to navigate to where Star Trek Online is installed for you, but you're going to go into the Star Trek Online folder. You are going to click on Star Trek Online again. You're going to click on Live and you're going to click on X64. You'll select your game client executable. Again, this is the exact same steps you did when you installed the reshade program. You're going to click on Open and then you're going to hit Next. Again, you're going to select which, uh, which graphics accelerator you're using just like you did last time, and it's detecting that you already have it installed. So it's asking, do you want to modify it or do you want to uninstall it? So just click on the uninstall, hit next, and it is uninstalled and hit finished. And that is all you have to do to remove reshade from your PC if you are having problems. So some people it's working great, no problem. Others are having issues. Um, others are having, you know, crashes regardless of what they do. For me, if I launch in full screen, I can get it to work um, pretty well. Even after it's launched, I can make it into window mode and it works okay, but it seems that it's a little bit different for everybody. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that this was out and clear. So if you are having problems, uh, that is how you get rid of it. All right, guys, I hope that's helpful. Have a good one.